Hey everybody, this is A Shadowbox, and welcome back to our Central Kansas Let's Play. How are you guys doing today? Um, so, off camera, I sold the, uh, I sold the silage that we collected. Um, I actually did it on camera, but then the footage got corrupted, and I don't know how, maybe I just had my recording software setting correctly. But anyway, that footage is lost, but that is the, uh, we have $645,000 to play with. And, uh, I think our farm is due for an expansion. What do you think? I've got my eye on field number six there, but I have no idea how much it's going to cost. I know they're, I know the prices are pretty high on this map. Ooh, getting some air. All right. See, so that one doesn't have a spinny thing, that means we own it, which means I need this one. 554. Okay. So, the next thing we will be buying is a potato slash sugar beet harvester. And I'll actually show it to you. I was kind of hoping that we would have enough left over to buy it now, but apparently not. This is the Ropa Euro Tiger version 8.3. You've probably seen it before. It's a pretty common, I think... It's probably the most common uh, beet and potato harvesting mod. So once we have about $350,000, that's what we will be purchasing. Uh, because this harvester that we have now isn't bad. So let's go park up. We have some work that we can do around the farm though, I suppose. Um, oop. Just need to put this away. Do we have anything in storage? It's been like two weeks since I've played this game. I finally got a day off from my jobs. We had a snowstorm here, and uh, where I live we have like different levels of a snow emergency, and right now we're at the highest level of snow emergency, so it's actually illegal to drive. Um, if you're driving and you don't have like a military ID or a uh, or like a badge or of some sort, you know, like doctors and nurses and police officers and firemen and EMS, they're still allowed to be out on the roads, um, but only like to get to and from work. They can't just like go to the store. So what should we do then? How's our sheep doing? Should have... Nope. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's take the John Deere. Oops. Something I definitely want is the dual wheels. Let's see what is it. It's left shift left alt. There we go. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. And got him. He's tire paste. Stupid invincible rooster. So, how are the sheep doing? Sheep. We have a hundred sheep. Mm. Now, what I'm gonna do? Let's increase our livestock. Let's order some more sheep. They're not making wool fast enough. I like sheep because they are cheap. 
and have a pretty good profit. Uh, let's go for 200! And now we need, of course, to feed them. There's a nice grass field there we can mow really quick. I think off camera I'll go ahead and sow both of those fields. And then uh, next episode will be a harvest. Yeah, if you uh, haven't seen it, I recently got FSX working on my computer again, thank god. And uh, I've been playing like n playing nothing but that because it's really a time consuming, uh, FS Passengers is pretty time consuming if you want to advance decently far in it. For example, my pilot right now is only a C1 license. And before you can fly turboprops, you have to be a C4 license, I think. Um, which is a lot of flight time and a lot of pilot points. So I've been doing a lot of that off camera. But since this is my first day off, I've spent like most of the day recording. I've got another FS Passengers recorded, and I've got an LCPDFR recorded, and I'm recording this. And then after this, I'll record another Skyrim. So it's a busy day for recording. Not all of these are going to be uploaded on the same day, though. I'll probably upload one a day until I run out. I don't know. The, the downside about FSX is that those videos take a relatively long time to make and edit compared to the others. But I'm more than happy to do it. I... <laughs> Man, I'm so happy to have that game working again. It's not even funny. Okay. We need to feed our sheep. So, we need to press B, and that, and then B, and then switch, and then B. So let's just very quickly mill this field. This probably won't fill the trough, like, even close. It, but, uh, it's better than starving the sheep completely. So, that's a good thing. I'm not going to mow this in any particular organized fashion. I'm just going to get most of it, maybe all of it. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I don't want to hit that sun because I think it's solid. Swing around here. Maybe we'll get to sewing this episode. It shouldn't. This field isn't as big as I initially thought it was. So this episode we will be sowing. And next episode we'll be harvesting. I forget what season we're on for our uh, harvesting schedule. I think we just finished a wheat one, right? Yeah, that's good enough. So next on the rotation is barley then. Though the nice part about having two jobs is that um, relatively soon, Hopefully I'll be able to afford a graphics card, which would be awesome. Oh man, then I could really put some graphics mods on Skyrim and get really good frames and everything else. I'm saving up for a 
GTX 760. It's a good card. You know what? You got 70,000. How much would that harvester sell for? One. Nah. Yeah, we wouldn't get enough. I was gonna say we should sell that harvester and then just buy the Ropa, but not enough funds. We've got some hungry sheep to feed. Well, they're not hungry yet, but they will be. This, like I said, this probably won't fill their trough. It'll just hide them over. I know I'm missing some, but it's not a huge deal. Maybe we will fill the trough. I guess we'll find out in a moment. That was definitely more grass than I was expecting to pick up. I was expecting to get like 6,000. Yeah, that's definitely not enough content for an episode. We'll go ahead and do the fields. Well, I'll do one field on camera and one field off. Nope, still not enough to fill the trough, but definitely good enough for a, a couple days at least. Let's head back over here. any water in that tank. I hope so. I really don't want to have to go and uh, fill it up. I 
There's a little bit. Good enough. We'll empty this tank into the trough and uh, see what happens. Make our sheep nice and happy. Get some high quality wool. I really want to start on pigs soon, though. Come on. Oh! Oh! No. Fail. Come on. Pull. All right. So there's our sheep taken care of for the moment. Let's grab a front weight and grab our giant cedar. It's not a giant cedar, it's just a nice size cedar. I want to find like a nice air cart cedar to use because I want to use those giant John Deere tractors that I have. I just haven't had a chance to yet. I don't really have any equipment that justifies it. Because I mean this tractor can easily pull this. I mean, I guess we could get just the in-game Amazon. But that's kind of boring. So let's get all lined up, and then we'll hire the worker. And you can do whatever it is you hired workers do. As usual, we are going to fertilize. Yeah, that no clip camera does have disadvantages sometimes, but it's really nice when you're pulling a trailer and you want to see the back of the trailer instead of a super close view of the back of the truck. Come on, fill up, fill up. There we go. That didn't work as expected, but maybe now it will. Yay! Oh, I tried to shoot the gap and it didn't work. Didn't I put the GPS mod on here? Yup. And it has updated. So let's see. Whoops. That was weird. Why did that turn off? Apparently the period key on the numpad is also works for your uh manual ignition. Uh, 
There we go. Though now I can't... There we go. I only have to hold control to do that. I don't know what any of this means. Whatever. I'll ignore it for now. And I'll just get on with fertilizing. Oh! Pass number two. Let's see how many fertilizer passes. I have menus everywhere. Let's see how many passes this field takes and we'll compare it to the other one. That was a little bit of a goofy way to line up, but whatever. It's all good. All good. That is three passes. Let's flip around. Looks like it's gonna be six or seven. Kind of amusing. I'm not even doing that. That's the GPS mod doing that, trying to straighten itself out. All right. That was five, right? Yep, seven. Alright, one more field. So yeah guys, um, let me know in the comments if you want me to show you every harvest of the season, or just the first one, or just the last one. 
So for example, there will be, after this, after next video, there will be two more barley harvests before barley season is over. Do you want to see all three barley harvests? Or just one? Or none of them? Yeah, tell me what you guys want to see. Alright, the new field. I assume it's probably about the same size as the other one. So yeah, once I get my new graphics card, then there will probably not be as much farming since 2013. And we'll probably do Professional Farmer 2014. Because it is a game that I have, but I only get about, like, 25 frames a second when I'm playing it. And I would like to get at least 60, so that way when I record I can expect it to go to 30. I lost count of how many passes this is. I think this is four or five. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is five. So six passes on this one, too. Well, the other one had seven, so I guess this one is slightly smaller. Maybe it's a little bit longer, though. And we're fishtailing again. Whoa! Nearly flipped us there. Well, guys, I think that's all you need to see for this video, right? No, nope, wrong button. There we go. So, uh, off camera, we'll go ahead and uh, finish seeding the fields in barley. And then next episode, we will have a large barley harvest to attend to. So, until then, I'm a Shadowbox. This is Farming Simulator 2013. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one, guys.